What's going on you guys? It's Moog and Soul back again and today I want to start a new series where I show off my drawings I've done both from anime, manga, or anything else that interests me. And in each video of this series I want to have uh, like five or so drawings to show off. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the very first one. Starting off is Itachi Uchiha. Uh, if you don't know who Itachi Uchiha is, he's from uh, Naruto. He's a very awesome character. He's a fan favorite. And if you've seen it, you'll know why. Uh, the thing is, when I was drawing this, it was a little difficult to draw, especially this right here because the slash. I mean, I'm not sure if it still looks good or not, but I had to... Uh, I had to kind of erase a lot, and the eyes were a little difficult. They may look weird to you, but uh, it was a little hard. Basically, what I do is with these drawings, if I, I can't remember them, I either grab a manga off the bookshelf or I, uh, I uh, Google an image and just kind of work my way from there. Uh, I don't trace, though. I just look at the screen. Uh, I don't see the point of tracing because then it's not really your work into it because you just basically cheated like you did. But Itachi, his nose, his mouth, his mouth was, for some reason, it was a little difficult because he, he doesn't smile a lot. So I had to make this frown, and it was somewhat difficult to make. And then you had to have the neck the neck, and not have it awkward. And then right here, not sure if you could, oh, shadow's in the way. Not sure if you could tell this is the, supposed to be the cloak. And it was a little hard because of the uh, room I had on the paper. And I know I could use larger paper, but I'm just kind of used to this kind of thing. But I think I did okay with the hair and the shading and uh and the leaf symbol and all that and i did get the trademark little lines he has on his uh on his around his nose and without further ado let's go to the next uh drawing and that is uh missouri for missouri plus vampire this is not sure if you can tell like i can't remember which volume it is but i did grab it from my bookshelf and i started to co uh copy it as best as I could, I tried getting the eyes, the nose, and the trademark uh, uh, sucker she always has. Got the hair in the back over here, kind of her shoulder right there, the neck. Um, I did try doing shading, but then it made it look awkward and stupid in my opinion. So I just kind of left it out. Got her bundle of hair right here. I thought it turned out pretty good right here. Because uh, when I first started, the hair was very awkward, and but then at the end, it just kind of fit, and I'm glad I could get it in. And the eyes were very difficult. I had to kind of restart a lot uh, before I started darkening in here and all that stuff. Uh, but I like it. Uh, it's not exactly like it, but at least you could tell what I was going for. And the next one is Kenna from Fairy Tale. Not really a big Fairy Tale fan, but my friend Googled it, and he asked me if he could... Uh, if I could draw something and this is the one he chose and I drew it and I have to say I don't think it came out pretty bad uh, too bad uh, a lot of erasing not sure if you can tell uh, yeah that's obviously fairy tale women are well over endowed but that's the joke I guess um, that's a bed sheet her leg right there arm rest of her hair going down here right there some more hair right there and the little hair over her eye and the eyes were still difficult, same as the nose and the mouth for some reason. Like, I know it's just a couple lines, but if you get the nose and mouth wrong, then the whole thing is disrupted. Uh, the ear was especially difficult because uh, it's just still awkward because I'm not sure how big or small to make it. Because like I said, it's got to be just right, too small, too big. It's just then because it, then it looks dumb if you don't get it just right. But I think it, it turned out good. I spent about... I forgot to tell you, for all these drawings, I take at least almost a week on each of them because I'm always constantly erasing. Like, even though it looks good, I'm always erasing and stuff because I can never be satisfied with it. I mean, because I just want to make it as best as I possibly can. Uh, and with that, let's head on to the next one. Next up, we got Conan, also from Naruto. This one was a damn challenge. I mean, it may not look exactly like her, but I did my best. The eyes were definitely hard. Because I had the shade over there. The flower was a bitch because I had to fit it up in there. And then her hair going down was actually uh, pretty simple. I got her cloak in there, the shadow of it. A little bit of her neck. And like a, a once again, the nose and the frown is everything. And the eyebrows especially were sort of a challenge. Because since I couldn't complete it. Well, I mean, I did complete it. But like the uh, image I was looking at had her eyebrow kind of like that. 
and uh, this thing right here, the little hair out there, I had to get that just the right angle, otherwise it would look awkward and out of place. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. I mean, I did a especially, not sure if you can tell from the video, but I did do a lot of shading, but then I got rid of it because it looked, once again, I thought it looked kind of stupid to me. But uh, yeah, and now onto our final drawing. Uh, good old Zoro himself. Boy, do I tell you, this was a challenge. Um, this is after, excuse me, I, new One Piece, I haven't read or watched in a while. This is after the time skip where he loses the eye. Uh, the hair was a bitch. I had to kind of do that. The ears were a bitch and so were the ear, the earring over here. Uh, the eye, this one was actually easier because since that's obviously he keeps it closed. The uh, eyebrows were kind of difficult, but easy at the same time. The eye, this one was e kind of easy because it's just kind of half oval and then just shaded in. The teeth, uh, not too bad because uh, it's not anything complex, like the a complex smile like some of these drawings could be. The neck area was a little difficult, shading and making sure this little V part came out good. Make sure part of his jacket comes out good. Like I said, though, the ears may look wonky to you, but I thought I did my best because, like I said, it was hard to do. And the hair was the real pain because I had to fit it in there, shade it a little bit, and make it fit. Um, nose was actually easy, saying that for once. Uh, but, yeah, these have been five drawings. I have uh, more I'm going to record and show off to you and i hope you guys enjoyed the new thing i'm starting uh well if you like this uh, comment down below see what else if you would suggest i draw something and maybe subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you next time see you guys